All right, guys. Welcome back to Go It Goetia. Um, I'm not sure how to take this key anywhere since I'm physically not able to go through any of it. But according to the Ben Hur book, um, horse is circled. So let's go check out the um, the ceramic horse in near like the hallway wherever it is I'm not very I'm not very good at um navigating so I apologize if I uh, go back and forth but if I'm somewhat correct the horse should be along this pathway oh there there we go I don't remember it either but now I can go in the horse but what does that mean? Damn it. What does that even mean? First clue is the horse, right? Okay. The first clue. Oh, wait. Looks like Santa. Looks like Santa. Um, okay. Go look at a picture. See pictures in the dining hall, but I don't think there's anybody that looks like that. This is difficult, guys. Takes big brains here. And I am not one with big brains. Pointing to a hat. There we go. John Falco. Okay. Hmm. What should I conclude? something about his name his first name his identity hmm Interesting. Man, now I had to think. John Falco. What can I frickin' assess from that? Like... Okay, this is what we already have so far. Someone threw this note into the fireplace but didn't burn it. It mentions some treasure hunt by someone named R to his brother. 
Maybe the reward could be interesting. The novel pointed out the previous clue is annotated the word horse in a circle, but finding a horse in the mat will not be easier. A drawing of what seems to be an old man wearing a hat was under the bronze statuette, a familiar silhouette. The old man's portrait is signed John Falco. What should I conclude? Something about his name, his first name, his identity. Hmm. <clears throat> This one's a little harder because I have no idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the horse was easy, but like. Where do I go from there, though? John. What would John be related to? I feel like I had to fast forward through some of these parts because I am literally just wandering. Then again, this is more of a slow paced game, I guess. Figuring out the secret of what happened to this mansion. I don't think it'd be in here because it's what the kids were doing. So. What would the kids be doing for something named John? Okay. can't go through there. I can't do anything with the key. John Falco. Who is John Falco? Several hidden writings.
this one's different. The building of renovation in churches. Think about John Falco though. gonna leave this here since it's easier to come back here. I need to find something about John Falca. When treasures do hide in the written word, I should try to remember. Okay. Maybe this pen could do something. Maybe. quite lost on what to do here. I'm thinking. I might have to do another come back to this in the next episode because I can't really think of what I'm supposed to be doing other than just wandering around, you know? And I don't want to keep you guys here forever. Think of what John Falco would be, though. I'm close to this feather. I feel like something is calling to me, but the feeling is vague. I must be missing something. Okay. I'm 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 like Am I just at the beginning of this game? Because I feel like there's a lot more to this. <sighs> okay. What am I supposed to do?
I must be missing something. This thing that I'm missing also. Maybe I should bring the powder here. Or wherever I left the powder. <laughs> I don't know where I left the powder actually. Um, let's see. Uh, Okay, if I could bring this upstairs somehow. <clears throat> but I can't go over there at all. I don't think I could get in that room with the powder. Probably, but I could have to go all the way around. That's the one thing I haven't done yet, I guess. No? Nothing, okay. Alexander and I, okay, this is the white powder. It's the white powder that they're talking about. I have that. I'm definitely missing something. First of all, like, where do I put that key that I got? And there's something I'm supposed to do with the feather. I'm like so not close to anything, I think. Where did I put the feather? I don't know where I put the feather. I think I lost the feather. Did I lose the feather? Oh shoot. Okay. Um, that's great. If I lost the feather, can I even do this game anymore? What am I supposed to do? I 
Can I go outside? Will that help? Can I just go this way? Can I just leave? Can I just leave? Just go back out this way. I don't think I'm very presentable at the moment, really. I think you're very presentable, okay. There's nothing to interact with here, right? So... I gotta find something. Nothing's happened. You know? The light in that room. There's someone still here, right? That's the idea. What do I do with this key, is the question. There's nothing in the house that's locked. Does that count? I dropped it. They break the game. Oh, yay. That worked. Okay. I didn't think that would work. I got the key in somehow. Okay. So, was there something in this house that's locked? Oh yeah, this thingy. I did it! Finally. That took... Uh, can I like, touch this? I don't know much about Forrest. The text says that he knows about medicinal herbs and stones, that he teaches logic, ethics, what kind of ethics, that he can make people invisible and eloquent. This green moss appears during the night after my summoning attempts. I don't dare remove it as I fear I might damage the sigil. What would happen if the connections were suddenly severed without the proper preparations? Father's research mentions him on several occasions with a mixture of fear and respect. From what I understand, he tried several times to enter our world, but not with benign intentions. I don't understand him. November, Tuesday, November 25th. Malthus doesn't like him. I still don't know if I should trust Malthus, though those who have been in open war for centuries in their world. He seems ready to take any opportunity to make his opponent lose ground. Can I count on Malthus to block his way if he tries anything? I shall summon him at the end. No op opposite sigil, not enough time, no need. If he escapes, I might do this wretched world a favor. 
Paymon. So this Paymon, if one believe Jacques Colin de Plassey, a king of hell, he teaches art, science, mysteries. He belongs to the order of angels and dominations. He has 200 legions under his command, a perfect match for the spirit of the family. Then 22nd position, four dots appear on top of the sigil, a smell of burning filled the room. I'm on the night path, but what do these straight lines on top of it mean? Nibirius is a valiant marquis. He appears as a raven. And his voice is hoarse. He can grant eloquence and amiability, and he teaches the arts. He has 19 legions under his command. I have had my fill of ravens. Once again, not much information. He seems to intrigue Gabriel. Maybe I should offer to let him attend the summoning session. So Nibirius is also a raven? That's quite the discovery, young lady. Do remember the sigil. Try to re memorize its every relief. This will be crucial when you try to chase me out of these walls. Okay. Malthus' opposite sigil has been revealed. Every room once blocked by his presence is now accessible. Yay! I finally made some progress. And with that, I could actually stop this this episode so it's been a it's been a struggle because um for one I didn't think I could take a, a key through the freaking hole so that was bullshit but I still haven't done any of like the other stuff like the, the I don't know where my feather went first of all I lost my feather um oh wait it's right there cool yay I found my feather all right good so See you in a second.